now release Star Wars in 3D, which means you can reach out of the screen and take your money directly out of your pocket. <laughs> Sorry, that's all I got, guys. <laughs> Actually, this is our artist panel. <clears throat> Rob Benito, Steve Lickensap, Tim Kelly, Chris Craig. We did this last show, no, two shows back then, we had a lot more companion works. Basically, I asked questions. How this gentleman work? What the influences were, etc. And it was a lot of fun. So this is sort of like the basic. Except we don't have as much time as we have last time. Okay. Can I tell you something? What? No, sir. Which one is that? Yeah, they were all nice, all right. They were all nice, all right. Called cops. <laughs> so basically, what I'm going to ask each person is. Wow, what keeps you working as an artist now? I mean, <laughs> non-financial, finance is a It's a beautiful lifestyle. I love it. It's, uh, I enjoy getting up every day, the challenge of uh, creating uh, paintings, and the success of it, and the whole life is a very full, rewarding life, and uh, without the financial gain, which is also part of it, you know, of course it's part of it, but, uh, Having a successful lifestyle and completing these things and continuing to strive to better myself and maybe get one just a little better than some of the others I've done uh, at this stage of my life would be a tremendous accomplishment. So that, that's my goal. That's my goal. Uh, oh, we're skipping that? Yeah, we're just going to. Alright, whatever. Um, what was the question again? I have to say the fact that I do everything now that I got in trouble for doing in school. Everything that I was learned, or everything that was supposed to be learned the right way, I don't do it. I make a mess, I daydream, I lollygag, I do letter lines, I scribble, it's my job. I mean, I can't. How cool is that? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we'll wait for your time. Yeah, go, we'll wait, we'll wait. <laughs> oh, you just won the lottery. <laughs> that doesn't say lot It's just cold and acid. Is that the one that? Uh, no, I mean, I, I'm lucky. We're all lucky. We do what we want to do for a living. I don't think any of us can say we get up in the morning or at night or whenever we dwell out of the bed area and go, ah, I gotta go to the studio and paint. So, you know, oh, I got the piece. Woo I mean, I know I stay up at times for days working on a piece because it's a high, it's a rush. It's, you know, you don't think about sleeping or eating or, you know, whatever. It's this piece that you're just engulfed in. Just tell the doctor you'll be there for the fuck out of the other. Yeah, turn it off. Yeah, turn it off. 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 Turn it But, um, you know, I mean, it is. It's a challenge. And it's kind of like bettering yourself. Absolutely. You always want to, like, look at a piece and, wow, I love how that came out. I want to do something better. It's, it's a rush, it's thriving, it's you know, you're being a part of something, you're physically creating more of yourself and sending it out there. I don't know how to, I don't know if I can express that any better. Yeah, it's pretty similar to saying, it's this challenge to create a better piece each time, the challenge yourself, coming with a new idea every time. It's, the whole idea of creating something is a, is a, is a rush about that itself. Trying to better yourself. Uh, I know most of you are just guys up there. I am a uh, diablo. <laughs> and so uh, uh, the cool part, I guess, about all you guys is uh, you don't really have to deal with deadlines as much. Maybe you can. We don't have to deal with deadlines. Not as much anymore, but I do. Yeah. I do. Uh, I mean, deadline is, 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 is exactly is, that. Deadline is a deadline. I still work. I still work with deadlines. Yeah. Dark horse comics, a lot of different yeah. things. Like I said, you, especially with the new man award and all that. And uh, but a lot of you guys, you know, like uh, like uh, you all have deadlines. Oh, look at that! I don't want to have another deadline. I don't sleep. I mean, I I I don't sleep. I I do all That's not healthy. Uh, well, I'm going to rage, I got kiss stuff, and you know, I got women chasing me down the walls. That's all. Just talk to the audience. That's not uh, <laughs> And one of the questions for Rick, how do you do those steampunk things that you just like to make? 
digital. Yeah. Digital. You're like, I, I created my own uh, alter ego so it's my own digital work. So that's that's cool. we're afraid to do digital work. Fair and my brain does. That's cool. Nice. 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 Yeah. I mean, I had deadlines all the time, especially right now working on academy. Quality of life. Dead life is quality of life. Most of them are self and Most of my deadlines. Yeah. So, so, yeah. To, you know, when you're doing it in peace, you know, if you're not working for someone else, Working on it, but you're going to get finished. Yeah, if you don't, you're not going to get that little piece of it. You're only going to be working on one piece forever. And then, you know, one painting's not going to step on us. Keep you busy. Keep your, uh, what's the last thing I thought of you? Keep your job going. Yeah, the Michelangelo. One piece of your portfolio is going to be any good. Well, here's a question. Did you do something at home? I think I know. Yeah, you fall off the scaffold. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I guess you've had more than one piece though. I'm working on 14 different pieces at the same time. So mm -hmm. I, I have I have different rooms for wet painting. And yeah. you know, I'll just I'll, I'll work on something for three hours and put it to the side and get something else out and work on that. So it's a continuation, constantly evolving. That's and all we'll they'll work out the door, it'll dry, this room's ready to go. And, and I tell all my different clients where they are in the process and what's going on. Now a deadline. That, that is not part of that scenario at all. And I have to tell all of the people that I have a deadline and that, that, that this is going to interrupt uh, the line, the progress line. But they all know it. I don't take the meeting before I explain. A deadline stops everything. Yeah. Because uh, publications, there's a lot of other people waiting for that artwork to do their step to get it out, to get to the public. Well, you can't uh, delay that process or you'll be out of the job. But I have 14 or 15 different pieces of everything in the house. Here's a question. You're involved in, you have an alter ego. The alter ego? Yeah. 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 To you to work as hard as that your your work is kind of going to maybe a slightly different direction, you're evolving, doing something a little different. Is that happening? Oh. Yeah, I think anybody, sure. No, okay. <laughs> no, you answer. You go. Okay. I know personally with me, I, I kind of bounce back and forth between different styles and work in different meetings just depending on my mood at the time. And I, you know, I'll, I'll work until I get to work with a certain way of doing something. And I, I draw from so many different influences too that you know, that all kind of comes into play. Real? Yeah. But do you see like <clears throat> some of the, the artwork is changing as far as the core baseline from what you maybe, I mean, not dramatically, or not, but I think it has to. Well, I think like when I first started, a lot of my artwork was going to be trying to paint the style of my style of artists that I really like. And then after you do that for long enough, you start your own style before it gets way in there. And I guess it's your own style yeah. comes to be right. as you're doing. Exactly. And, and I know a lot of times it'll be like a, a mesh of different artists. I don't think there's any way you can get artists that are not have a revolution. Because I mean, you're you growing. As you're growing, your technique is growing, your style is growing. What you like to do grows. What you don't like to do changes. It's no different than you know life itself. It's somewhat serious for you, but I've heard some people, plenty of people say, "Well, I've got this little part down good enough. I don't need to grow anymore." So no, you're not an artist. I've got the human <laughs> body down good enough. It's like who the hell has the human body down good enough? You never have it down. Yeah. You see a great piece and it yeah. inspires you to do 
more art. And right. if I see if someone on TV about an artist, I just go, oh man, I need to start working with them. Right. But that, yeah. anything like what they do at all, but yeah. it just it create, it just helps you create more. Yeah. It inspires you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What art is supposed to be. So what, what do you can the first person answers what do you like to use? Acrylics, oils, combination? I'm a strict to oil. I'm all the oil. Dinosaur. Control that. But uh, I, I work best with it. I have to achieve the highest results. I find flaws in the other videos. I don't understand watercolor. It's just not in my zone. I know he does, but I don't. I just don't get it. Acrylics, uh, I'm just not comfortable with the consistency of them. So I'm not strict to oil. page without using pencil. When, you know, when it comes to color pieces, I work in watercolor, acrylic, color pencil, I work with pretty much anything in my hands, and a little pastel. Just it depends on the project. You can't use acrylics when you do an animation, at least original animation. That's just the point where you buy it, look, it's animated. But, you know, I work in pretty much with everything and anything. Anything I get my hands and I get dirty. You know? I'm a sloppy artist. I'm always kind of, you know, I leave the studio early, but you know, what? Ten days of bad work. Um, acrylic and watercolor. I've done oil painting for 20 years. I love that. Oh no, I just, I, I just don't have the time to do them. I don't have the time to do them. Well, that's why I have 14 dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have room to have 14 dollars. I can do three paintings at a time. But uh, yeah, but I'm with it. I hate painting with it, but I still, I got to do it. I didn't have to do it. It's a, it's a hard, it's a hard medium. It dry scraps if you want it to, and you can't, you can't pre-mix it. You can't pre-mix it. You can't, you can't render with it. You can't play around with it because right in the middle of your thought pattern, it's the dry. Yeah. And now you have to go back to the, to the basics and start over. I had to regain a whole body yeah, last week because I screwed uh, something up. I wouldn't do that. I, I need that thing. That's what I like about watercolor because that oh, piece is always there. You just put that little water to it. You go. Watercolor to save my life. I you make a mistake on that paper, you're done. You well, that's it. Again, yeah. again, again, oil it is a very flexible yeah. medium. You can make corrections. I can that's do something. Oh, I can do a, 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 a work for eight hours on an oil piece and then come back the next day, not like it, and go right over it. Go right over it. Neither of them the right digital over. team. Huh? You think better than digital? I don't know. I don't know. It's not fun, but you know what's it's wrong easy with this? The largest thing wrong with digital is you, you, you have, have no original. You have no original. I agree. Got no and as you get older as an artist, those originals mean a lot to you. You do. A lot. I'm not going to strictly digital. I know that. But My God. It's it's a, it looks beautiful. It's amazing. It's done great. So now that artists got a hold of the computers, they can see where they're going. There's not the little spheres and cones that they were saying. Look at this digital artwork. Yeah, well, it's something they're trying to sell. One of the cool things about digital is as soon as you're finished, you can send it across the world immediately. You know, that's the only thing. It's you can do that with oil. Yeah, that's what I have to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's still digital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the computer definitely made the world as far as art. Changed the world, changed everything. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure Ken had this too. I'm sure you had pieces that were flowing back into the world. talks like other writers. <laughs> What's that, young man? I'm sure you have pieces that were flowing back and forth and back and forth. For yes, I, that, that was my changes. world. Yeah, that was you my know, world. with me, you email it over the editor. No, 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 change that, change this, change that. But you're not waiting two weeks for those answers for changes. So That's so, part of the evolution yeah, of part the art and the artist. Exactly. You, you have to pick up on the new technology because that's what the world. Nobody yeah. sends mail. Exactly. No such thing as real mail anymore. It's like, how do I do that now? So it's all. Well, I mean, I agree that you know, the computer's good that way. Oh, yeah. Things aren't like easier, but as far as painting, I'm not The best thing about the computer, I'm sorry, is, oh. is uh, adapting information. Yeah. Google said something. We all used to have more. All of us filed for that stuff. Now you just Google. Google. Whatever, you, whatever you're working on, Google, bang, rip it. Oh, wow, look at that. It's amazing. Amazing. Incredible. Your favorite medium? Me. Okay. Me. Yes. 
I, I could say the chance to be there. That's incredible. <laughs> that's incredible. Wow. That's a good thing. So I'm right there with Adam. I'm right there with Adam. I have a uh, working club boys. I, I can't stand it well because, unlike Ken, um, I even like the stuff sitting there on the fence. I can't work in 14 days at once. I like the you know, rapid response. To the you don't have to. It's all the world. It, it is, it's an obsolete uh, uh, technique. A lot of the, the younger men have found other ways to do it. I don't see any uh, flaws in it or hang ups with it. I use it quickly. I've seen guys use acrylics. There's a, a Damien or something that uses acrylics just the same way I use oil. Fast, fast. And I'm just like, but if, if it's working for you and you get the job done, yeah, why change? And I could do. Well, I don't do uh, comics, so I, I don't need to pen and ink with it. Yeah, that's just it. So this that's is another, something like, completely different. It's like, uh, if you need to use the medium, you'll learn how to use it. Exactly. I do make mostly covers and a lot of music, and they need a big piece of art really quick. And do all the things you're going to do on this within a certain amount of time, and then take a photograph and send it to them. There you go. Done. That's it. Influences. I know we covered this last time, but briefly. Influences for art. Art. Um, it's too big. Yeah, I mean, the key, right. the key. Yeah. You walk around the world. Really? Honestly speaking, I mean, I can't say, oh, I love Degas's work, and, you know, move to setting a staircase with a beautiful piece. No, it's, that's just bullshit. It is. You know, I mean, walk outside and look at a tree in autumn. You know, go to China and look at a blossoming in the maple. Go to, the, <coughs> go to Philadelphia and look at some of the architecture. So it's, Basically, what you're yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a little different than, obviously, if you go to a museum and look at art. You're, you know, anything I see, I design pieces around the woman's hat because it's a woman with wings and a unicorn coming down. I mean, it's just. But you gotta have the talent. Yeah. Well, people who don't have talent and want to grow up all day. You gotta have the talent. <laughs> Ability. Whatever you want to call it. Maybe, you know, some people say it's a talent. Some people say it's like. God gave you a gift. Well, no, not really, because I had to work for this. God gave yeah. you a direction. Yeah, it's like, I still work. It's called you art made. work, not art play. Yeah. It's not called a magic paintbrush. He gave you a direction. He gives everybody a direction with certain talent, whatever. And anyone, they all have basics. And it's what you do with it. Or have to, because I do. I think the best example of that is somebody come by and you're like, oh, I love your work. You know, how long have you been doing it? Forever. Yeah. And I couldn't tell you when I picked up my first crab. And it looks like a face. It looks like a foot. I mean, I've always been drawing and painting. I don't. I want to be an artist. So I can't draw. Yeah, absolutely. It's incredible. It's incredible. Practice. Really wants to do this. It's the work. It's work. Practice and drive. Yeah. I want to be an artist, but I don't like to draw. <laughs> I know people like that. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> you don't get brain surgery. You're going to find so well. I'm loving it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, you get that too. It's peace. You learn stuff. Make mistakes. You go, well, I need to do this better. Maybe I will fix it on the piece I'm working on. Because yeah. it's already done. I said it was fine. But next painting, I'll fix it. Fix this problem. It's going to keep evolving. And along those lines, I um, I may have had a little piece of thing a little longer, but everything's for sale. I don't have anything like the last for sale. That's why I do it. I know a lot of our hundreds of artists that won't sell anything and keep all the originals. That's not why you do it. Well, maybe they do. I don't know. It's, it's for them to sell. I'm, I'm not going to sell it. That's my job. Makes you feel good when you're wrong. Yeah. Fish is the right person. Yeah. I'd rather give up painting just to the right person. The right person. Some yeah. guy who's like, I'm going to ask all you on. I can get it. You know, once it comes down. You know they're going to sell it in a week. Who you knows what they're going to do with it? I don't know why they want it, but they're going to buy it. Yeah. 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 I agree. You found yourself a problem? Was it an artist? An artist? Or you got to move? You never where you want to be. You always think you can improve a little more tomorrow, and maybe I uh, will try another medium, something, or something like that. You will constantly create, trying to create, trying to evolve. Whether you actually get better, uh, I don't know.
actually. I also got hard cold. I think it's a piece of the stuff. But we're over our own worst critics. Yeah, it's tough. Well, you try to, like you said, you try to improve things that, that aren't there one day, put it in the next one. But, uh, I'm a little further down the road than most of you, but uh, it gets harder the further you get down to the fight to accept things that you want to correct. And I just like to keep going. You don't know how long you can drive there without it. Next question. Do you find yourself a problem? Commission, um, does it ever compete with like work you're like you just do for the love of it? You know, is there like, or do you like fall in love with your commissions? Like, oh, this is this is great, I'm digging this, or is it like oh, I can't wait to get this over so I can get on back to this 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 one thing I'm I'm dying to finish. You know, I get that sometimes. Well, the there's a lot of commissions I just am not am necessarily in love with, or just because of the subject or because of the person that wants it, it's just a little bit too. <laughs> It's not what I want to do. Yeah, it's just the easiest problem. thing to say. It's just not what I want to do. I really want to do what I want to do. I want to do what I want to do. I'd like to hear your answer to that, too, since we've commissioned oh, one. Well, and <laughs> <Whoa. others. laughs> Best commission <laughs> ever. <laughs> You were nervous because you know we're kind of friends and uh -huh. didn't want to like. Oh yeah, did, well, did a portrait of, of her. Uh, yeah, I, I'm always nervous when I'm doing something for somebody that I know personally. Yeah. Just, you know, sure, it's, you don't want to be judged. Yeah, but well, we love it. So. Well, well, what was it? Is that a crow? Yeah, it was a crow. And uh, and Ken also, um, you you gave me a a, 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 pe a preliminary a rough with uh, pencil and ink. You know, long before. You, it's something you've, you've done. You've done. You've done up, and then you decided not to use it. But I want to say, even in that medium, <laughs> it's, it's it's beautiful. You you but you do oils because you are a master. Yeah. Master of oils. Yes. Well, we have to wrap this up. I want to thank everybody for coming, especially these gentlemen. Please visit their tables, their booths, their rooms. Come down the hallway that time forgot. I've got a few handouts here on a 
step by step, we do a watercolor, everything else. Uh, that many left. I can't do it. Yeah, I can't do it. Because I can't. I can't.